Okay, welcome back friends. This is Wayne Bragg on Wayne Bragg TV. As promised, um, I, I made one of my last videos was around false truths, so I'm actually gonna touch a little bit on each individual one, just with a little short few minute video on each one. This one's around distilled water. Distilled water causes leaching of minerals out of your body. Distilled water can kill you. Uh, distilled water is, uh, is gonna make you sick. Distilled water is gonna do all these really crappy things to you. It's a load of bullshit, my friends. It is, really is. Um, and it's designed to scare you because, well, I don't even know why. I don't even know why that anybody would actually want to steer someone away from such an incredible, wonderful, healing thing. Now, while I'm all about water, I will touch on a, on a few different areas. So this video may go over a little bit, but um, I think this information is going to be really, really important to you. And uh, so stay tuned. Um, right, here we go. Distilled water. Nature creates distilled water everywhere she goes, baby. Oh yeah. Uh, when you look at rain, dew, mist, fog, snow, everything that nature creates, uh, creates in, as far as water goes is distilled water. So obviously, uh, just say for instance rain, the sun heats up water on water surfaces, whether that be the ocean, rivers, or bodies of water. And that water goes up into the clouds, condenses in the clouds, and comes back down as rain. That rain is actually distilled water. Now mechanically, we can distill our own water by actually buying a little uh, small distiller, and we can actually heat that water up and boil it, and that vapor goes up again through a condenser, and then it goes down through a charcoal filter, and that charcoal filter catches anything that may be like chemical in the water. So when you look at, um, when you boil water, the actual chemicals that come off that water, if there's say chlorine in there, if there's fluoride in there, there may be uh, pesticides or different runoffs from, from you know different things like that. If it's rainwater, there may be like uh, collecting pollution out of the sky, all those type, types of things. So when you boil something like that, like water in that condition, and it goes up, that vapour also has in it what they call volatile organic compounds. Now those volatile organic compounds can be recondensed, right, with, with the, in the condenser when you distill the water and brought back down. So by having a charcoal filter on your, on your distiller, you're actually taking all the volatile inorganic compounds, or volatile organic compounds, sorry, out of that water, because the charcoal acts like a big magnet because it's got a a very strong negative charge to it and all those particles that are not good for us and all those volatile organic compounds all have a very strong positive charge to it so that charcoal filter just grabs them and grabs a whole lot. So then if you actually have your distilled water at the end of the day, it should be zero parts per million of any, any, anything like that. So you can actually buy a meter called, uh, what is it, um, TDS meter, so it says total dissolved solids um, in the water and you should have zero with distilled water. Okay, while I'm on this subject, water's just a, such a big thing. I get this question all the time. Wayne, how much water should I drink? Well, that is a very, very good question. Um, and that's gonna depend on where you are, what the climate's doing, your activity, what type of food you're eating, how heavy you are, and quite a lot of other factors, okay? Let's just touch on them real quickly, real briefly because I don't want this video to go over too long. But I think this is a really cool topic. Okay, when you look at water, our body's made up with quite a lot of water and we store a lot of water and we have deep water within our cells. Our cells actually store deep water within our cells. So when we drink water and we drink water regularly, what it's doing is actually just sort of filtering over the top of our cells already have water and we've got hydration in there. The water's basically just flushing through and, and it's acting more of a cleanser, okay? Um, now, as far as how much water should you drink, right? If you're eating very high water content foods, so if you're eating a lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables, they're really high in water content, you won't need to drink as much water. But if you're eating meat type products, dairy, and, and uh, a lot of breads and things like that, which have a very drying, you know, diuretic effect on the body, then you need to drink much more water to flush those out, because also the byproducts of digestion of those products are quite toxic, and then we need more water to flush our system, flush our kidneys, and actually flush through those toxins out of the out of the, out of the, our body. Okay, so 
there's a couple of things there for you. So I guess how do we how do we know how much to drink? Well, go off how you feel in your mouth. If your mouth's dry, you need you need more fluids. But do you really need water if your mouth's dry? Let's just touch on this. I believe that still water is an absolutely incredible thing that we need for our bodies, and we can use it in two ways. We can't hydrate with distilled water when we take distilled water plain just by itself because it has a very, very strong negative charge to it, okay, and it has a very, very cleansing effect in the body when it's taken on its own. And that means what it does is it goes through and acts as a flusher, so it will flush things out of your body. Distilled water will flush uh, or inorganic minerals out of your body, and inorganic minerals, say, come from rocks, stones, dirt, things like that. So those inorganic mirrors, minerals can get into our body and our, our body has to flush those. So distilled water with its very strong negative charge will grab hold of those inorganic minerals and it will help flush those out of our body. So that's where they have that statement. Um, you know, it'll flush the minerals out of our body. It is true, but it only flushes the minerals that we don't actually want out of our body. Now, as far as organic minerals go, distilled water will not flush the organic minerals that are made up of us, who we are, those minerals that are within us, it will not flush those out. So distilled water on its own has a very good flushing and detoxing effect, okay? It's almost like take, taking charcoal in a way. Charcoal has a very strong negative charge as well. So because that distilled water has a very strong negative charge, it draws stuff into it, okay? And because we've actually wiped the memory of water, if you actually look up uh, Dr. Emoto and uh, emo uh, molecules of emotion and you see what, what water changes, like how the crystals in water change with different emotions, with different energy uh, exposed to that water, it will actually change the molecules in water. So because when we distill water, we basically wipe the slate clean. It's like doing a bit of a defrag on the computer. We wipe all the memory of the, uh, of the, uh, of the water and we, we start again with, from scratch. So you can reprogram it. So when you put it into your body, just as a cleansing thing when you drink distilled water on its own, it's not gonna really hydrate your cells. It will just go out and flush, okay? Now, you might say, well, what do I wanna do that for? Well, that's a great thing to do if you just wanna clean up your body and you wanna just have a, 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 you know, a gallon of that a day to, to um, flush a system and, and part of a detox. You're gonna urinate a lot because your body won't hold onto that water but it'll actually take out a lot of garbage with it, okay? And all we have to do is structure distilled water. It's very, very simple. We can put it out in the sunlight. We can add a little bit of juice to it. We can float around some, uh, say, cucumber and some, uh, you know, some lemon and stuff like that. I find lemon juice really good because it's very alkalizing. And just a few, bit of a squeeze of lemon in, in your water will actually straight away structure that water so it'll give your water, water a structure and, not, and, an, and an identity so that your body will then see that water and take it in and hydrate you. So there you go, that's the difference right there. Um, as I said, we can just put some fruit in there, a little bit of juice, a little bit of lemon. We can even use a little bit of Celtic salt or a little bit of Himalayan crystal salt, just a pinch, you don't want too much, and we can just mix that up in there and that will add the minerals to that so it'll actually structure that water because both those salts are actually organic minerals. Our body can actually take those salts into our system. All right, so um, that's all I've got to say on distilled water and, and that myth. Uh, I believe it's busted and it's, it's proof of my own life. So give it a try. Uh, get yourself a distiller. Honestly, when you start drinking distilled water on a regular basis, and you can either structure it or you can actually have it as a detox, depending on what way you want to go. I hope that answered all the questions. If you have any more questions around water, please leave your questions in the comments. When I get those questions, I'll make further videos at a later date. How you going, dog? How you doing, mate? Got a big dog just coming out of look at me. How you going, son? Hey, how are you, boy? What's going on? All right, guys, thanks for coming. Please subscribe if you like this video, and I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.